Have you ever wondered what is electric potential difference? Well, in this video, we're going to answer that question. So let's start with a resistor. Let's call this point A, and this is going to be point B. Let's say that the electric potential at point A is 50 volts and the electric potential at point B is 20 volts. And we're going to say that the resistor has a value of 5 ohms. Now, to determine the electric potential difference, all we need to do is calculate the difference in the potentials at point A and B. So it's simply VA minus VB. So it's 50 volts minus 20 volts. So the electric potential difference across this resistor is 30 volts. So electric potential difference is basically voltage. It's the voltage between two points. So in this example, we have a voltage of 30 volts across this resistor. Once we know the voltage, we could use Ohm's law to calculate the current which is V is equal to IR. But here's a question for you. In what direction will the current flow? Will it flow from point A to point B or point B to point A? What would you say? Conventional current always flows from a high electric potential to a low electric potential. So the potential at A is higher than the potential at B. So electric current is going to flow from point A to point B. Now, a good way of thinking about this is using the analogy of water flow. Water will always flow from a high position to a low position. It's not going to flow in the other way without some external force pushing it against gravity. Unless, of course, you're dealing with like capillary action or transpiration in plants. But for the most part, water flows from a high position to a low position. And the same is true for electric current in a circuit. It's going to flow from a high potential to a low potential. So now that we know the direction of the current, we can calculate the current in the circuit. So the voltage is 30 volts. The resistance is 5 ohms. Dividing both sides by 5, we have 30 divided by 5, which will give us a current of 6 amps. Let's use another example. So let's say we have a resistor oriented in uh, this direction. Let's call this point A and point B. Let's say the electric potential at point A is negative 30 volts and the electric potential at point B is negative 12 volts. And let's say that the resistance is 3 ohms in this problem. So first, I want you to determine the direction of the electric current. Second, calculate the electric potential difference between points A and B. And then third, calculate the current flowing through this resistor. Feel free to pause the video and try this problem. So let's begin by determining the direction of the current flow. So which potential is higher? Would you say A or B? So which value is higher, negative 30 or negative 12? We could use a number line to determine the answer. So on the right, this is positive 20. On the left, negative 20. On a number line, the values to the right are higher than the values to the left, which are lower. So negative 12 would be here. That does not look like a 2. And negative 30 will be here. So we could see that negative 12 is higher on the number line than negative 30. So point B has a higher electric potential than point A. So current is going to flow from a high electric potential to a low electric potential. So it's going to flow from point B to point A in this example. So now that we have the direction of the current flow, let's calculate the voltage or the electric potential difference. So the electric potential difference going from B to A is going to be VB 
minus VA. So VB is negative 12, VA is negative 30. So this is negative 12 plus 30, since we have the two negative signs. And so we have a voltage of 18 volts across the three ohm resistor. So now, to calculate the current flowing through the resistor, we could use Ohm's law. So 18 is going to equal the current times a resistance of 3. So it's going to be 18 divided by 3, which will give us a current of 6 amps. So that's how you could determine the electric potential difference across a resistor, the direction of the current, and the amount of current flowing through, through a resistor. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell.